I can honestly say with practice comes perfection. I got the desired look I was hoping for in today's painting. The result is just remarkable. I love it guys. And the funny thing is I use Deco Art Crafters Paint, which is their lowest quality uh, paint that they do have on the market. So affordable, anyone can afford it. So guys, I really want to show you this demonstration of how I use cheap paint to get this beautiful result. Check it out guys, you're gonna love it. Hello again everyone, it's Camille. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I'll be using inexpensive paint using the Deco Art brand Crafters Acrylic Paint, guys. So these are the five colors I'll be using for today's video. I do hope you guys enjoy the content. The colors are amazing. And you know what? I'm so happy with the result. You know, you don't need to use extreme sheen. I just wanted, this was an experiment. You don't have to use extreme sheen paint. Deco Art makes um, extreme sheen paint and I've been, I've used those in my previous videos. I normally use the extreme sheen because it gives you the result that you really want. But I wanted to experiment um, just using a lower brand, cheaper, you know, affordable. So I wanted to experiment with that using this pretty much the same ingredients all right so here i am showing you the consistency of the paint as you can see when i pour it back into the cup it does leave a mouth it's not too thick um, but it's not thin all right um, especially when you're using the metallic because i have a metallic silver and a metallic gold in the crafters paint this is a metallic gold as well and you know when you're working with these brand um this paint you just want to make sure that it's not too thin to get the result that you want all right so check it out guys the colors are amazing it's beautiful that's the blue and then i'm gonna have the burgundy and the neon green so check it out the black paint is a different brand that is from artist love floor acrylic and um, it's thinner than the colors um i use a little bit more water in that paint in the black paint it should be thinner than the colors guys you know if you want to get the result it should be thinner because what happened is the color is going to rise you know above the black that's how you get all those beautiful cells all right so do check it out guys and i do hope you enjoy today's content if you do give that um give my video a thumbs up you know share with your friends and family and of course if you're new and you haven't subscribed as yet go ahead and hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell hit all so that you're notified each time i post a new video all right guys so stay tuned for the wet result the close-up of the wet result and the dried result at the end don't go away guys you're gonna enjoy this one
here I am just waiting on the cells to develop and I'm loving it already it does take a while for the cells to develop it took pretty much you know I waited pretty much like 15 minutes to get the complete look that I wanted uh, for the cells to really form the way I want it guys so you know so while I'm waiting I'm gonna use my popsicle stick and clean my edges it's very important to do that especially when you tilt or use a blow dryer to do any technique it's very important to clean you know the, the edges because it can pull and ruin your your beautiful composition your design that you have on the canvas and you, you really want to keep that so clean the edges guys very important and um torching helps to pop all the air bubbles and torching helps to bring the colors out a little bit more and it helps to develop the cells a little bit more so it's very important to you know um, do all those things if you can all right guys so I'll see you for the wet result coming up Let's go check out the close-up of the wet result. I am so in love. The gold in this, the neon green, that beautiful. I'm thinking it's like a magenta, uh, um, it's called African violet. It's just beautiful. And the blue with the silver, they're just a beautiful blend of color and I'm so in love. The cells form great um you know the ingredients in this helps make it makes a difference i did add i followed the white pour and um even uh julie um julie from pouring your heart out they use a drizzle of the art the um sorry the, the liquitex pouring medium and i think it does make a difference in getting the cells you know the perfect shape so yeah i'm happy and you know what this is cheap paint this is the lowest quality paint that Deco Art makes. It's affordable. I pick it up at the dollar store. Um, the four ounce bottle was like a dollar twenty five here in Canada. So, yeah, I just want you guys to go out and try, and I do hope you know you get great results. Check out the ingredients in my description box and let me know, guys. Send me um, a comment and let me know how you guys feel about this technique. It's just beautiful. All right, so see you for the dried result coming up. Here it is, all dried. I know what you're thinking. You guys are saying, wow, it's it's dark. Yeah, that's the thing with acrylic paint. 
when it's wet it's like wow beautiful but dried it's dried dark right but as you can see there is no finish on it <clears throat> sorry there's no varnish but i'm thinking i'm gonna resin this one and if i do resin it it's gonna pop and look just as how it was when wet and even more beautiful and the colors are gonna you know shine even more the metallic in this the gold uh the silver i'm loving it it's just amazing guys it dried well i'm really pleased <clears throat> and you know it's just amazing that you can get great results using affordable paint you guys don't have to go you know break the bank or you know what what that term is the saying is you don't you don't have to spend too much practice you know practice and um and let me know of course guys give this one a thumbs up if you do like it and i will see you on my next video on camila moy art Bye.